quiz in Moodle 2.9. There have been a number of improvements to the quiz activity. Amongst these are section headings, a new location and options for shuffling questions, questions conditional upon other questions, a printer-friendly layout for your quiz, and the chance for students to redo a finished question. Let's look in more detail at a few of these. Here's the quiz editing page with several questions already created over two pages. If we want to randomise the order the questions appear, we can tick Shuffle top right, but we're going to leave it for now. There's a pen icon at the top and clicking here allows us to add a section heading for page 1. If we then go between page 1 and page 2 and click Add, there's the option to add a section heading for page 2. And again, if we click to add a third page, we can add a section heading for that as well. You can then see that we can choose to shuffle the order of questions in each section rather than the quiz as a whole. Another new feature is making a question conditional upon answering a previous question. To do this, the question behaviour needs to be interactive mode or immediate feedback. And then you can see padlocks against each question. So if I click the padlock against question 5, it means that this can only be accessed if the student gives a response first to question 4. So let's look at it from the student point of view. When our student accesses the course, you can see the sections appear in the quiz navigation block. And although she can move freely from question 1 to 2 and so on, she can't see question 5 because she hasn't yet responded to question 4. So if our student gives an answer to question 4, question 5 then becomes available. Finally, if you use your browser printing option, the quiz will now display in an attractive way for you to print off.